I'm here in Nome, Alaska for the Phoenix of the Iditarod, America's most exciting dog-based sport involving sleds. I've been here for a week trying to find out why they call this the world's last great race. Let's take a look. The Iditarod is an epic race of more than 1,000 miles through Alaska's ruggedly handsome terrain. It is also rich in history. It retraces the legendary 1925 diphtheria serum delivery from Anchorage to the icebound village of Nome. Today, the only disease around here is Iditarod fever. Would you say you have Iditarod fever? I would say yes. Symptoms include fun, excitement, and the glory of sport. I'm here at the checkpoint in the middle of the Iditarod race. And any minute now, a team will come through and I will have an interview. By the way, the temperature is negative 60 with wind chill. Right there he is! He comes now! Can I pet the dogs? Oh my god, he's wrecked. From this desolate checkpoint, I went out on to Nome. Welcome to Nome! During the Iditarod, the streets erupt into a carnival-like atmosphere. Meanwhile, out on the trail, local favorite Remy Brooks was overtaken by upstart Norwegian Robert Sorley. Back in Nome, Iditarod veteran Niels Hahn showed me that sled dog racing is much more than meets the eye. Let's do it! When you in this kind of work, it all all boils down to bitches and money. There you go. Yeah. The dogs go to the bathroom. How does they do it? They do it on the run. They just while they're running, they can go. They just let loose. Look, he's going to the bathroom. He just did it like it was no big deal, running along, and then out comes a few huge turds. Indeed, advanced excretion techniques are at the heart of the dog sledder's craft. I know Martin Boozer mentioned last year that he actually does uh, do it in his pants, urinates, and then as it freezes at 40 below, he can take it out and it's in a, it's in a popsicle form called a piecicle, which uh, would cut down on the front runners having to take the time to do that type of stuff. Of all the compelling stories surrounding the Iditarod, perhaps none is more heartbreaking than the saga of a little dog named Pootie. Pootie always wanted to be an Iditarod sled dog, but tragically, she didn't meet the minimum size requirement. Sorry, Pootie. Here comes the winner, Robert Sorley, from Norway, and he is coming down the stretch and the excitement is palpable. But I'm getting ready for an exclusive interview. Here he comes now, the winner. How do you feel? Later, at the press conference, I caught up with him again for an even more probing interview. Robert, one question. D do your dogs poop on the run? Yes, yes, I, I think so. Congratulations, Robert. Thank you very much. All right. This plucky Norwegian had fulfilled his dream, and it inspired me to realize one of my own. Woo! And that's why they call it the world's last great race. If I may add one final thought, I think it's true what the locals say when they say there is no place like Nome. Also, 100 miles to the north is a village named Kotzebue, which is remarkably similar. Back to you, Jimmy.